There are two possible outcomes when you put all these Hololife references in your videos. You either attract viewers because they like these references, or make a fool of yourself for being a nerd. So how did you do? How the heck am I supposed to know? Hey guys, Jaden here. I made a July video a while back and some people seem to have trouble getting the rare bugs to spawn on palm trees. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these bugs spawn more frequently. There are 8 bugs that spawn specifically on palm trees. Blue Weevil Beetle, Goliath Beetle, Cyclometer Stack, Golden Stack, Giraffe Stack, Horn Atlas, Horn Elephant, Horn Hercules. While I was looking for ways to improve spawn chances, there is one thing that I did not mention in my July video. With the exception of Blue Weevil Beetle, all of these bugs do not spawn until you've caught 100 bucks total. This is the biggest reason why palm tree bugs don't spawn. It's written in the guidebook, but it wasn't listed in any of the websites I know. I don't think a lot of people know that fact because people rely on the internet 99% of the time. So if you're new to this game, you need to catch other bugs first before you can catch those palm tree bugs. You should get a Nook Miles achievement for catching 100 bucks total. With that in mind, I have two methods that might increase the chance of these bugs spawning. If you really want to catch those bugs, give them a shot. But here is a bit of disclaimer, even I can't guarantee that these methods will work. These methods are just theories, not facts. As I've said before, you need to catch 100 bugs for these palm tree bugs to spawn. Even so, rare bugs are still rare, as they have very low spawn rates. As if it can't get any worse, with the exception of cicadas, bugs that spawn on regular trees can also spawn on palm trees. So be prepared to spend a lot of time hunting for palm tree bugs. Some people might have covered this already, but these are my original ideas. The first method requires moving your house and the palm trees together. Simply put, move your palm trees together any way you like, and also move your house near those trees. It's cheaper to move your own house than to move someone else's house. You don't need that many palm trees near your house because there are only so many bugs that can spawn on your island at once. All you need to do is walk around those palm trees to see if those bugs spawn. If they don't, go inside the building and back out, then try again. This is one of the easiest ways to respawn bugs, even though the loading process takes some time. The second method requires Nook Miles tickets and some palm trees in your inventory. I want 5 palm trees on each side of the island and there are already 4 palm trees in every mystery island, so I am bringing 6 palm trees with me. Why 5 palm trees on each side? Up to 5 bugs can spawn at once, and having more palm trees doesn't increase the chance of palm tree bugs spawning. Make sure you are flying after 5pm. The kind of bugs that spawn is based on the time when you fly. Use your Nook Miles tickets until you land on a bamboo island. If you are a day 1 player, you might have noticed what I'm trying to do. That's right, the tarantula slash scorpion farming method that was abolished in version 1.2. Or rather, a variant of that. The way it works is to remove spawn conditions for other bugs, and I'm using that to my advantage. More specifically, chopping bamboo trees, picking flowers, and leaving things at the shoreline. So here's a time lapse of me setting up the island. Keep that in mind that it doesn't always work. Once the setup is complete, run around the island for palm tree bugs. Scare away the bugs that you don't want.
when you see a valuable bug spawning on the palm tree, hold the neck and approach slowly. It takes some practice, but you'll get it eventually. After about 30 minutes, this is what I have. If you want to catch all the bugs, it's going to take several hours. If you want to, you can leave your game like this. You don't have to worry about time as long as you don't leave the island. Before I go, I want to catch whatever this is. It's a whale shark. Here's a little bit of shark fact. Whale sharks have a big mouth and they live for about 100 years. There you have it, my theories on how to make palm tree bugs spawn easier. Again, I can't guarantee that palm tree bugs will spawn more frequently by doing what I did. If you are desperate, it's worth a try. If you find this useful, be sure to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.